So hello there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now for this first clip we're going to be starting off here on my own map here on Ravontuli Coast and we actually have a leucistic female Eurasian teal out here. Now I have actually started grinding for a couple of different things here on my Ravontuli Coast map, mainly grinding for rare grey lag geese but also going for some more rares for some of the duck species. One of the rares I'd really love to get is a leucistic male Eurasian teal but these female leucistics are so incredibly pretty they are absolutely stunning and I honestly think that these are kind of going to get overlooked by a lot of people because they are females but they are absolutely stunning that sort of golden yellow plumage with those blue highlights in the wings they're just so incredibly pretty and I may have shot a few of these already but every time I see one I just I'm always so amazed by how incredibly pretty they are. The the leucistic males are also incredibly stunning so like I said I really would like to get some males for the lodge too but I'm super pleased that just as I start these grinds that I've actually got a leucistic female already. I'm not entirely sure if she was on the map or if she was one of the first respawns I got but either way I'm really 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 pleased about that. Such a pretty bird. Now sticking with Revontuli Coast and still on my own map, at another one of my setups we have a level 3 tufted duck. Now there's a few rares that I would like to get for the tufted ducks for the trophy lodge. One of the main trophies I'm really looking for is actually a leucistic female because the leucistic females look really incredible and I really would like to get one. But it was super cool to actually find this dude hanging out on my map. I do believe he was already on the map when I started putting these setups out as he was one of the first birds to come and land at this setup. So a nice little bonus diamond. Not a huge diamond at 965.68 when diamond is 963, but still a really nice bonus. And the tufted ducks, even the commons, are super, super pretty. So I was so, so happy to see this guy. They are such cool birds. So really, really happy about that. Now still on Revon Tuli Coast and still in single player and you may see there's a lot of dead birds around in the background of this clip and that is because this is at another one of my setups. This time this setup is for grey lag geese, Eurasian teal and Eurasian widgeon and as we are looking around here you can see there's some live birds and also a lot of dead birds around and that's because basically I was just letting them come in and land and then carefully just plinking them off one by one with the 22 and basically just sat here quietly plinking them off one by one with the 22 and there was a couple of raccoon dogs that came through this setup and I looked at this one and I sort of did a double take because I was pretty damn sure that that is a dark brown raccoon dog that just came trotting through my setup here and I was like there's no way because in the previous trophy hunting video, we got a dark brown male raccoon dog in multiplayer. And it was the first dark brown raccoon dog I had ever gotten. And like I said, they do seem to be pretty rare to actually find. You don't see a whole lot of them posted. So I was really, really excited about it. And then seeing this one come trotting through the setup, I was like, I'm pretty sure that is another dark brown. Which... It would just be crazy if it was, because I spent so long in so many different multiplayers looking for one, finally got one literally a few days ago, and then I come to my own map and at a setup for bird hunting, another dark brown raccoon dog just comes trotting through. Just absolutely insane. Picking it up and seeing that it, it is actually a dark brown, I was like, there's just no way. This is always how things seem to go in Call of the Wild. You spend quite a while looking for a certain thing and then you'll get another one within like a, quite a short space of time. That's happened a few times to me, but it's always just like, really, that's just wild. Like when I saw it come walking through, I was like, there's no way, surely, that that's another dark brown. But sure enough, it was another dark brown. So I'm really happy that this was one of the raccoon dogs that just decided to come trotting through this setup. Such a wild and cool experience. And I always love getting the more obscure rares. So that was really cool. I mean, the whole point of hunting for the different bird species at the moment that I'm, you know, grinding for is to get a couple of those more obscure and hard to find rares. So for a dark brown raccoon dog to come trotting through like that it was just kind of perfect and yeah something completely unexpected 
Now, moving on to a few clips from Emerald Coast, and we're going to start off with a few clips of some Diamond Banteng, including this level 5 that basically Express delivered itself to me. It was running along the coast fleeing from the crocodiles during the day and just ran straight towards me. One of the bigger level 5s I've had at 144.98. Still, funnily enough, my biggest ever Diamond Banteng at just over 145 is actually a level 4 diamond, which is so funny to me but this is one of the biggest level fives I've actually had so a really nice diamond and it was just funny how it just ended up trotting along the coast like that to me then we have another level five here this time with the mocha fur type and managing to drop him with a heart shot there I do love seeing these giant horns on the Banteng. I do wish they had a bit more variety because a lot of the ones you're going to see in these clips are scoring around the 140 area and they're all very, very similar looking. I wish that there was some more variation with the with the horns and I know that there's not a whole lot you can do with the horns on Banteng but maybe some more mass and stuff on some of the bigger ones would be really nice. Just a few different things. I think back to the ones in classic and some of them have sort of more circular shaped horns so that would be kind of cool to see some more variations like that but still i do love hunting these guys they're pretty easy diamonds to find you can get the level four diamonds quite easily and the level five to aren't that hard to come across but they're really cool animals i just really like them and i end up hunting them a lot because i am still searching for a melanistic male and an albino male because I do have a melanistic female and an albino female, but I think it would be really nice to get the rare males instead, just because, you know, they have the different body shape and they do look more impressive with the bigger horns. And something I have been doing is on my own map, just on and off grinding these guys, kind of doing a sort of, sort of passive grind, hoping to get one or two rare males and kind of really hoping for a super rare i've been leaving the the really small level twos and just focusing on shooting level threes and fours and up and i've had a quite a few diamonds so far off of that grind and i'm just hoping that at some point we can get a decent sized male albino or melanistic show up you know a level four would be really nice and if it could end up being you know a either a diamond level four or a diamond level five that would be really incredible that's the overall sort of goal but you know it's something that i don't expect to happen if that makes sense it's something i would really love a super rare banteng would be one of my dream super rares in this game just because i love this species but I don't ever expect that to happen. But a couple of decent sized rares for the Trophy Lodge would be really, really awesome. And in fact, this level 5 that we've just shot here at night was a level 5 that actually spawned on my map. And I actually came across him whilst I was grinding some crocodiles along the beach. And I actually saw this guy come trotting out. So he must have appeared when I was doing some Banteng grinding, but I actually hadn't come across him whilst hunting the Banteng. But again, another 140.15 diamond and another nice Banteng. Now, moving on from a few nice diamond Banteng and moving on to some clips of some nice crocodiles. Now, once again, I have been out hunting the crocodiles on the beach here on Emerald Coast, looking for those rares that I am still missing. Those being the leucistic, both piebald variations and the melanistic and we had a really nice legendary out here on the coast so i have just shot him with the 300 and as you can see he went down pretty quickly now this guy had a pretty decent estimate so i was hoping he would be a pretty good sized diamond and he is at 120.26 not a massive diamond croc but a diamond is a diamond so i was really happy to get another diamond for these guys these are another favorite species for me i love both the saltwater crocodiles and the american and alligators in this game just because they are sort of more unique species so i'm always excited to get trophies for those species now we have another legendary here this guy had a pretty big estimate not a guaranteed diamond but i always like seeing that high estimate being above that 1100 max score so was really hoping this guy would be a big diamond and he is a big diamond at 1080.58. So a pretty big diamond, not a max score, which is what I was hoping for seeing that huge estimate. Whenever I see an estimate that actually goes above the max score, which is 1100 for these guys, I'm always hoping that it could be potentially a max score. Not a max score for that guy, but still a pretty big diamond. 
However, this particular crocodile had the best estimate I have ever seen on a level 9. 1038 to 12,008. Now, as I mentioned, max score is 1100 for these guys. So seeing that estimate, he had a pretty darn good chance at not only being a really big diamond, but possibly a max score. So I got super excited when I saw this guy and I was hoping and praying that maybe this could finally be the max score croc I've been looking for. Because that's sort of been a side goal alongside looking for the rares for these guys. And I had had a max weight that didn't actually make max score. But this time, we have not quite a max weight, just a tiny little bit off of max weight, but he is a max score. 1100. 1100 score. Max score saltwater croc. That is so incredibly cool. I was beyond thrilled when I saw this. I got really, really excited. Like I said, I had that one that was max weight and it just didn't crack max score. It was a few points off, which you will see. Sometimes you'll have just a little bit of variation with score, with the, the weight with these guys. Normally the weight and the score match up pretty closely, but very often there's just a little bit of discrepancy, just a little bit of difference between the weight and the actual score. And I know that it says trophy type length, but if you you pay attention the weight and the score normally correlate very closely but sometimes like I said you will have this little bit of difference which is my why my max weight crocodile didn't make max score but this guy that is a tiny little bit off of max weight actually does crack that max score which is just incredible such an awesome trophy that I'm so so pleased I managed to get now for these last couple of clips, we're actually in the south of Emerald Coast on the Dry Bone Plateau. And it is nighttime as I was hunting kangaroos in their drink zones. And as I was going from zone to zone, I ended up spooking a massive guaranteed diamond feral goat. Now, as I was waiting for him to actually come back this way, as he had started to come back to where I was, I noticed a couple of other members of the herd walking towards me. And amongst them, I spotted this. A level one albino feral goat. So in the same herd, we have a massive guaranteed diamond male and a rare albino female. And that's actually only the second ever albino feral goat I've ever seen. They are actually quite rare. And I was really, really excited to actually see her there. So we have the male now coming pretty close and just as he stops there going alert, I drop him with the 44. Now just as the other goats were running off, I managed to get a spot on the albino female just so that I make sure I will be able to follow her tracks. But first off, let's take a look at this giant guaranteed diamond. You don't often see guaranteed diamonds for these guys as they are notorious trolls. So seeing a guaranteed diamond estimate on a feral goat is pretty darn cool. And this guy is a really big diamond at 215.14. Now he's not my biggest diamond feral goat ever. I do have one that I believe scores 222. But this is a really big diamond for these guys. Like I said, these guys are notorious trolls. So getting a diamond for these is always really cool. And seeing one with that really big estimate is extra cool. Really, really awesome animal. And they look so much better with these new models. Such a fantastic looking diamond. But now we're going to follow up and actually track that albino female. And as you can see, we have her here in our sights. Glowing bright white, even in the night a gorgeous ghostly albino feral goat and once again dropped her with the 44 as well and I am just super stoked because like I said I've only ever had one albino feral goat and that was back when these guys were only on Te Awawara and were much harder to spot because they looked so similar to the white fur type. These days they are much easier to distinguish as the white fur type has more silvery sort of grey elements to it whereas the albinos are this pure white with sort of some more pinkish highlights. So they're a lot easier to spot now and as a result you do see more of them posted but they are still a very very rare animal to come across. So to get an albino female in the same herd as that big diamond male was such a cool thing. You know to get one on its own 
have either of these trophies would have been really cool, but for them to be in the same herd was just absolutely wild. And I didn't even know this female was in the same herd until they started walking back towards me because I only saw them as they were running away fleeing in the distance. So just an incredible experience and two trophies I'm super, super pleased to have actually gotten. I would love to get a decent sized albino male feral goat at some point, but just to get, you know, to get an albino feral goat in general is such a rare animal. So really, really cool. And again, that 44 just absolutely annihilating this female. That 44 is such an incredibly good gun and I cannot recommend it enough. But that is going to be it for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed it. Some really cool and crazy experiences in this one. Like having that dark brown raccoon dog just walk through one of my bird hunting setups. Like just wild like to have a rare just show up like that in a completely random spot when you're not looking for that that species at all is always just so so cool and then having these two two goats these two trophy goats in the same herd a really big diamond and this albino and getting that max score crocodile i hunted the american alligators so much and got so many diamonds but never got that max score american alligator i was looking for and that is something i still want to go back and try and achieve because like I said I really love the crocs and the alligators two very unique species in this game that do present a little bit of a challenge to actually hunt especially back when the alligators you know they could disappear under the water and die which is when I did most of my hunting for them so I really would love to go back and try and get a max score alligator to go alongside this incredible max score crocodile that we got in this video but that is going to be it for this one so thank you so so much for watching and for all your support as always I hope you guys are having a fantastic new year and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.